What is up everyone? I am still alive and I am still doing toy reviews. Um, sorry, it's been a few weeks since I've been able to post any videos. It's been kind of hectic, been trying to move and do a bunch of other stuff. But made some time to make a video, so I'm going to just do a few DC Multiverse figures that, you know, some I recently got, some I just wanted to do a review of. And uh, for my next couple videos after this one, I'm going to have uh, Marvel Legends like the Guardians of the Galaxy movie wave and, you know, the X-Men comic figures like Blob and that, you know, yellow blue X X-Men team, right? So those will be my other videos. Um, but for this one, I'm going to focus DC. So uh, I'm going to go and start off with a few of these um, Injustice characters really quick. Um, you know, so Supergirl, one of my favorites from, I think, that wave. Uh, definitely a nice character to get. Uh, she's got a nice wash in her hair. I really like that uh, detailing there. It's really nice there. Um, pretty decent, you know. I like the, the Injustice look of it. Uh, then you get this, um, you know, red boots. It's got a very nice sculpt here. And then you get the uh, blue here. Definitely a different texture within between the material. So I like that. It's really smooth here. And then it kind of gets, you know, that textile uh, texture. You know, uh, kind of rubbery on that S emblem. And then the back here, get a nice print of it. And, uh, yeah, very, very, very nice uh, Supergirl figure. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you don't get a flight stand. You get the regular stands with her. Dr. Fate, um, I'll be honest, I wasn't too much of a fan. I was hoping there was going to be a bit more of a difference. He is pretty much the same. Uh, I'll try to show a comparison of one of the other uh, releases that I had. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too crazy about it. A little hint of blue, but mostly I think it's kind of like that dark navy blue. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go and move on to the gold labels. I'm going to start off with the Michael Keaton Batman Unmasked. Uh, and like everyone else has been saying, that this really doesn't look like Michael Keaton whatsoever. Oh, dropped Robin. Uh, but no, this this doesn't look like Michael Keaton too much. With certain angles and maybe lighting, it could. Like, you know, quick glances, you might say, yeah, that looks like Michael Keaton. But, you know, in other times you might say, no, that looks like Ray Liotta. You know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not the perfect Michael Keaton head. I think there's a better way to have it. But... Uh, definitely a nice, nice figure. Like, if you look at the the boots down here, it kind of gets a little weathered and kind of greenish. Very dirty uh, looking. Uh, doesn't really match at all with, you know, the pants leg area. Kind of just, that's pure black. And then this just kind of gets lightened up. So that's kind of interesting. Then, you know, the belt's just bl painted black. I don't know if that's supposed to be yellow. I don't know if McFarlane messed up there. Or that's just how the suit looks, you know. I mean, obviously the originals it was yellow, so I don't, I can't, I can't tell from the trailers uh, off the top of my head if it was uh, yellow or black. They haven't really been showing too much, I think, of it as a clear shot of his, uh, you know, suit. Then you got nice, uh, you know, Batman uh, symbol here. You know, pr pretty nice. OG, you know, definitely a, a cool figure. Now, I'm not a fan of cloth capes. I really not. I prefer just the plastic capes that we've been getting. I've always been like that. So I don't know. These these capes, you know, to me, I don't think they ever work out too well. And if they ever were to do them, I think they should have at least bendy wire so you can like pose them because in the end, they always just drop down you know you can't can't do much with it it's always gonna drop down so it's kind of whatever with it but you get some nice you know uh armor detailing here this remains to be black uh then you know you get some nice reflection from here uh definitely a nice armor suit uh can't wait to get the batmobile and the the bat wing uh yes i did <laughs> pre-order that so whenever that does come in, I will uh, review it. Now, probably going to have a new setup, so I'll probably be able to show it off a little bit better. But, you know, 
Uh, definitely not a bad figure. Um, I just kind of really wanted a Michael Keaton figure in my hands. I'll do a comparison with my NECA one. Then you got Impulse here. Uh, definitely a nice figure for me. Uh, I, I think that this is a fun figure to get. I mean, I think when Mattel was finishing up their DC Multiverse license, I believe they announced an Impulse. But then the figure was obviously canceled because they lost the license. I think that was supposed to be in like the next wave or so. I remember them having like promo shots. So this is kind of a nice figure to get from McFarlane. Like, hey, you were almost going to get it. Now you get it from me. Now here we are. Uh, definitely a, a figure I think that uh, was needed for any Flash fan. And not one that's based off accent uh, lines. I am um, not a person that thought that stuff kind of looked cool. I mean, if you haven't heard, there was like this big bad toy store flash uh, lined up like black and white, but then yellow lines. I don't know. Wasn't my thing. Uh, so I guess McFarland doing some of those. I will not be reviewing those because I will not be getting them. So uh, sorry, you're going to have to look somewhere else for those reviews. Uh, but yeah, up close with this impulse, you know, get a nice little uh, young uh, Bart Allen, uh, you know, head sculpt. Kind of brings me back to when the character shows up in uh, Smallville. Didn't really look much like this, but, you know, definitely a nice character to have in mind. Now, Robin. Oh, yeah. Now, this Robin, everyone went crazy for. It's sold out. But you know what's so funny? Is that this figure is exactly the same as the Carrie Kelly uh, uh, Robin. Like, exactly. The hour is the same. Everything is 100% the same except for the heads. And then, you know, obviously you get way more accessories for this Robin. You know, you get a bunch of alternate hands. You get, you know, a battering with a rope attached to it. Like, that's cool. I love those accessories. Um, I think could have been executed just a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe I'm just having, like, you know, I'm being anal about it i don't know but uh, definitely uh it's an all right figure i just don't think it was something that everyone should have gone crazy for but uh you know hey whatever i got mine so um if you want to have yours literally just pop pop the head off this one put on a new one find somewhere on uh ebay or whatever to get a head sculpt and throw that bad boy on there and you'll be good Okay, here is the Michael Keaton Batman next to the NECA version. Uh, you know, obviously there's possibly going to be some variants for the Michael Keaton Batman. Uh, apparently there's going to be a six movie pack with Batman 89 in it. Maybe some other ones like Val Kilmer and George Clooney. I'm going to cross my fingers on that one. I hope that's what it's going to be. Um, but we'll see what, what happens there. Uh, but these figures, you know, obviously the, the McFarlane one's going to be taller. You know, they're named for 7-inch, and I think NECA. I mean, I know NECA does 7-inch as well, but I think this one was more designed to being a 6-inch scale. Uh, so, you know, once I'll get the other Batman, I'll probably throw in another comparison with this. Uh, but definitely nice figures to have. Dr. Fate next to the Platinum Edition version. Now, there is actually a few more differences than I thought, like the helmets are different, the knee pads and shoulder pads are different, you know, they have, like the original one has the symbols on them, and the new one does and it kind of goes more slick, and then the shin guards are totally different too, and obviously you don't get all this stuff, uh, you know, the, they change the belts there, so, you know, there is quite a few differences, but I think the differences that really should have been changed were those ugly ball joints around the wrist. You know, they, they kept that in there. And that's, you know, I, I think that makes the, look, makes the figure look ugly. I think that should have been changed to where McFarlane's been doing a pretty decent job with, you know, making wrists now, you know, like you get, you know, ones that look a little less like ball joints. Uh, you know, and Paul's probably a better example here, but you know, it's, more flat it's not it's not a ball you know i think i think uh that should have been fixed up but you know to me i think the platinum edition is still the best one i don't think the new one is the better version of dr fate 
um you know so i mean hey it's up to you guys what you think but uh you know for me at least i think the platinum is still superior so that is it for my review with these figures i think overall they're pretty good if you're you know fan of some of these ones like for me at least impulse definite buy supergirl i think would be a good one at least for now and then i think the robin is a good one even though it steals mostly uh the body from carrie kelly uh the michael keaton batman you know if you can wait or if unless you really want michael keaton you know uh you want to see that unmasked beautiful head of his that doesn't look like him uh go for it but you know definitely probably just get the masked version uh, but other than that though i hope you guys did enjoy this figure review i will be posting some marvel reviews uh and yeah there'll be just a bunch of figures reviewed in that so hopefully you guys did enjoy it and i will see you all in the next one thanks again for watching